He's unpredictable. He's relentless. He's fearless. He's smart. He's a jerk. Oh, man, what a jerk. How would you describe Kirk Minahan? He's talented. He's blunt. He's complicated. He's the fakest tough guy I know. He's honest. A self-proclaimed weenie. He's angry. He's actually a good guy. He's a psycho big mouth prick. I wish we had more Kirk Minahans. How would you describe Kirk Minahan? Combustible. Unpredictable. Venomous. Chesty. Obnoxious. Selfish. Polarizing. Pompous. Enough about me. Let's get to the show. It's Kirk Minahan's Enough About Me. All right, I've said this a lot of times, and sometimes people believe me, sometimes they don't. The guy, the on-air guy at the station who is closest to me in terms of personality is actually Lou Maloney. You might not believe it, but it is true. Underneath the nice guy, the former player, the guy, people always come up to me and say, hey, Lou Maloney seems like a nice guy. He's a nice guy, but he's also an asshole. I'm telling you, this is true. And over the next 50 minutes, you're going to find out exactly how big of an asshole Lou Maloney really is. So do you like your job? Do you like doing this every day? I do. No, I, I'm, 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 you've already now you've already started with a lie. This is bu- we're I now, like what we're I now do. 14 seconds in. You're bullshitting. I like talking sports. I do. I, I like talking sports <laughs> every single day. You like your job. Well, no, there are days. You, they, who doesn't hate their job? Some days though, right? I mean, yeah. There's some days where it's bullshit. There's some days where you just like really deflate gate day 742. Yeah, but that's what the job is. You, so yeah, but I just think yeah, I I enjoy talking sports. I always have. That's the reason why I kind of did it in the first place. Well, this you, job. When did you start doing Ordway stuff? Oh, wait. The year after I retired. Well, you didn't really retire. No, I just stopped like, playing. Like, Derek Jeter retired. <laughs> you, I, you, didn't, you didn't really retire. Nobody wanted me anymore. Right, yes, right. yes, I stopped playing. Did you know when so. you were done? Were you, was it, you were in San Diego? Is that what you were doing? Yeah, when no? I was, my last year was Oakland. I was in Sacramento all summer. So you were in Sacramento all summer. Yeah. Did you know that you were going to live here? Uh, yeah. You did? Yeah, family. Yeah. I didn't think I was going anywhere. Well, you know, I, I had just met my wife the year before, a couple years before, right. and, and she's local. So that sort of changed everything, you know, the fact that we were getting, I was getting married my last year, so I knew I was going to just settle in here, and yeah. there was things that I was going to do. And, and back on the field, coaching wasn't one of them, time const- You didn't want to do that? No, if I was single, I would have thought about it. Yeah. But that's so much time. I well, how about, like, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a second, because I have a couple questions about that. So you're done in 07. Yeah. You get back here in 08, and when do you start? Do you, does Glenn contact you? Do you contact him? They, yeah, no, they, uh, Glenn, I talked to him before, and he said, why don't you come on in and just do a show or two? Right. And it was funny, because at the time, like, Nesson had no opening for me to do anything. And then I went on with Ordway for two or three times, and they said, oh, you know, we just found an opening. Yeah. So they brought me to do a little bit of pre and post. Right. So that kind of started it. Yeah. And how long were you doing? So you did big shows a couple of days a week for a couple of years. Three years? Really? Yeah, you like doing that. You know what it was? I, I did it, yeah, reg- for a couple of years, and then when the whole thing happened across the street, that's when they had to kind of, I guess, sign me as like a full time, part time guy. So the legend is in our, in our world yep. is that you were offered the job with Felger. Is that true or false? That's true. Full time, two to six, ninety eight five. That is true. Why did you say no? Because the time, two to six. What's wrong with that? I didn't think I wanted it at the time. Oh, okay. you didn't think you would do it every day? Like at the time, what that told me was, I, I you know I was new to the business, and I just said, if that's the case, I'm never, I'll never be in a locker room ever again. Right. You know, from two to six. Right. You know, and I just felt like there was baseball wise, there was that was important to me at the time. Yeah. And I just looked at it and said, you know, I wanted to be in that locker room. I, if I was going to say things, I wanted to be there, and it just just didn't feel right. Do you realize now? Forget whether that was a mistake or not. But do you realize now that it doesn't matter if you're in the locker room or not? I you do. Can just say whatever the fuck you want. Like, actually, I would it's, never. It's, I would never. I would never go to the locker. It's room actually now. easier, right? You know, not. I mean, you know, going in there now is extremely hard. I still go in there once in a while. Yeah. But if I never had to go in, oh, it's so easy. Yeah, Talk about the other sports, I can say whatever the hell I want. Well, Bradford will say to me, I remember John Lester, he's like, Lester hates you. And I'm like, well, I mean, okay. And right. I'll just go home and he does his job. And by the way, why does why he just come here and talk to me? Yeah. So Callahan always says, well, if you, you know, you can come here too. Why do we have, right. why do, we have to go there? Yeah, you no, played. You played. So, I mean, would you, when I played, I hated it. Right. You know, sports radio just kind of started and, and I hated them. Did you listen all the time? No, I didn't listen to them all the time. But once in a while, you know what? It's, it's a lot of this is what it really happens with the athletes. It's friends. Friends communicate. Right. Did you hear what Minahan said? You didn't even say anything. Maybe it was Dino or Jerry. Right. Maybe you did say something. Probably. And then they just trashed, you know, and the next thing you know, it's you've, you said this, you said that. I've been blamed before with things that my partners have said. So, well, you, but you were, what it is. but the one thing is you've been, you were tough on them when they collapsed in 2011. Yep. You've been tough on Farrell. Yep. Right? I mean, if you had, who did you, was it Lackey you had some interaction yep. with? Yeah. So, I mean, this is now, you understand, I guess, part of the job, I right? get it. It's my job. 
But, I, you, yeah. but did you ever? Well, you dealt with Nomar. Nomar could be a, a real pain in the ass in that stuff, right? Yeah. He took shit personally. Yeah, very personal. And I, but I understand what they're going through. No, I know, but I'm but saying. So, so now I understand this but, side. But, but when Nomar would bitch about it to you back then, you're probably like, yeah, these guys are assholes. I but always n- told him, I said, Nomar, they're like the, 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 you know, the loud uh, minority. Right. You know, the city doesn't hate you, dude. The city loves you. That's like, true. Relax, get over it, stop listening. Right. To the few people, right? And, yeah. But it, it bothered him. Yeah, so that, that's, I think you realize that. So you do the big show a couple of days a week. I remember listening and thinking, oh, this guy's good. He's different. He's self-deprecating. He's not afraid to, you know, make fun of himself. He's not yep. afraid to have opinions on stuff. Can, I mean, is it too much to ask to turn your phone off? I just got it on vibrate. Is that all right? I mean, just, you're treating this like this is just, not a I big just deal. A, it was just a call. It's this a was number one on iTunes. I know, and this is very this is important. It spikes. What time like, does this thing air? Like 10.04, 10.05. Is there any agreements of 6.05? Like, can, we, can we throw it out there at 6? Would I? You know me. Would yeah. I care if we aired it at 6 o'clock in the morning? Would you? Yes. You could. No, I'm saying, but if I, but what they said, you could. They see now you're now you're going all over the place. Well, I'm just jumping around. So they selected. So this. So you and I had an altercation that was your fault a few months ago. Of course, Actually, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. No, I'm be pretty yours. rational about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't go over the top. No, I, I try not to. No. They told me how about ten o'clock for lunch time. I'm not, I, corporate people. Oh, Tim Murphy. Those. They blame you. What is that? Who blames me? Well, no, you guys want to do it. They say maybe we'll ask them if they want to change the time. Who are they? Management. Who? Kevin I just Graham. gave you a name. Kevin Graham's not management. Well, he is. He's a boss. Do you consider me a boss, really? Well, he's there. I don't. He's got an office. His own <laughs> I, office. I mean, I don't. <laughs> so they said, how, do you listen to a lot of podcasts or no? Uh, no, I really don't. I'm not okay. a podcast guy. Well, you should get into it. I listened it. to the first couple you did. What about the last 10? I just stopped. Why? What I don't that? know. I know the things. You didn't like them? Oh, I thought they were good. I just <laughs> other things going on. Well, they said they all have to launch at a time. It's not really a time. So they said 10 o'clock. Mm. And I said... It's not during my show. Perfect. No problem. What if they said six? I would have said okay. What would, what would you say? I've said on the air, and I've said, I care more about the podcast than I do about the show, so I would have said six o'clock <laughs> What would fine. Dino and Jerry say? I don't know. I wouldn't listen to them. But you can't watch something at six o'clock in the morning. Why not? Ten o'clock's a good time. You can listen to it at six. We could, do it, we could do it later in the day. It doesn't matter to me. All right. And then we went at it. Like you I'll know, be that, honest. I'm selfish. You could post it at two. I don't care. Well, neither, Just don't do it from ten to two. I know that's, it's kind of you know, well, critical. Ordway, so I talked to Ordway once in a while on the phone, and yeah. you find it hard to believe. He gossips on the phone. Never. And he'll say to me... You know, we're we're just we're, we're just worried that the podcast is cut into our to our listeners. There, there is some of that. Yes, that is total bullshit. Well, you got a big following. Yeah, but no, that is not bullshit. I know, right? But, but the idea that so the way the ratings work that somebody with a meter is suddenly going away from your show and listening to my podcast is not true. Well, That's could. not happening. Well, it, it That's could. not happening. It could. It could do it during our show too. You, how many podcasts have you had? I mean, this. I think you'll be guest 13, 13, 13 or 15? fourteen. Yeah, you would think by now that there'd be somebody. I don't know above us that might even that might sit there and put numbers in front of us and say, "See, look, it doesn't affect that's, you." That's that's a reasonable. It's criticism. only been four months, but that's not my problem. No, but it's only been I mean, February, March, March, three months. Three months. Yeah. three months. That hasn't yeah. happened yet, so we're still waiting. So I don't know. We you don't seem, know. We don't see, know. You seem frustrated. I'm somewhat frustrated by that. Yes, you are. I told you we talked on the phone the other day. Yeah, and whenever I call you on the phone, I get the sense you don't want to talk to me on the phone. No, that's all right. We talked mm, the other day. We're yeah, good. but I, you want to get off the phone when I call you, though. I, I won't think, bother you anymore. I get it. It's okay. No, I, I, it's okay. You're busy. It's okay. okay. I understand. What were you doing? You were burning leaves or something? I was burning wood. May 1st was the last <laughs> day you could burn, so I had to burn all day. So okay, I sent you the so text. You thought I was like upset at you. We don't you. burn wood in But you know I don't get upset at you. We you do get you do get upset. I get pissed at you. Like fucking What's the bullshit at the moment. What's the difference? But then afterwards, I realized that it's just, it's it's real emotion. Right. But it it's over. Like, it's, it's over. I don't hold it against you. You told me on the phone, you said you don't take it home. No, I don't. I take it home. You it do? It wakes me up at night. Not just you, but just specific stuff that happens at the station. I carry it with me. That's You're a better man than I am. I'm weak. That stuff pisses me off. Sometimes it'll ruin my entire day. Yeah, it doesn't. And I just, because uh, I think it's funny. I think it's entertaining. I think when it's all said and done, oh, you I'm... say, that pisses me off, but you know what? That was good. So I'm a source of amusement for you. Yes, you're okay. a clown. Good, good, That's good. About I it. dance for you. Yeah. So you did, so we'll get back to our own dumb all fights at some point. But, so you did the big show for a couple of years. Yeah. And like I said, I remember thinking, oh, this, he's good. You know, I, I enjoy him. And then, uh, when do you find out that you're taking over for uh, Holly and Dale? Um, I guess it started in what, like February 11, maybe? No, because it was, uh, they announced it while I was in spring training. I didn't really know, so I let people come to me. What do you mean you didn't know? Well, I knew it was happening. I just didn't know what the announcement was going oh, okay. I was just yeah, walking yeah, yeah. around. Next thing you know, someone's like, hey, I just saw it on Twitter, or I just right. saw it on whatever. Right. I didn't even know if Twitter was up then. 
I think it was, yeah, was, was it March 2011? So like in January, they started kind of being like, you know, talking or you started hearing rumors or, or they'd be like, hey, would you be interested in well, doing your own thing? Well, did you know you were doing your own show at some point? I knew that there was thoughts. I don't know if a contract was coming up, yeah. maybe. And it was like, hey, you know, we're thinking about making some moves. I didn't know what they were going to do. To be honest with you, I thought I was just going in with Dale. And okay. Holly was going up. I right. thought it had more to do with Holly kind right, of right. going up to the going up, making money yeah, type yeah, of thing in the yes. afternoon. And right. I was sliding in with Dale. That's right. Originally, that's what I thought was happening. Yeah. It didn't happen that way. So you found out, when did you find out that it was going to be you and Mutt? And did you did you ever met Mutt or worked with Mutt before? I met him that? once in spring training. Yeah. Did a, he and Bradford were doing like a weekend oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I yeah, popped yeah. on for like a half hour. Yeah, that was yeah, it. yeah. That so was it. you guys got put on together. Mm-hmm. Did you do any trial shows before? No, they... Fucked us. I mean, honestly. Yeah. I've never seen two people thrown to wolves more than Mutt and I. Neither right. one of us knew anything, knew what we were doing. I mean, you're talking about green. I, I'd never done back-to-back days on radio, and Mutt has never done, you know, his own talk show radio. Right. And then, I think it was like a month in, we had Zarbano, who was like a new producer mm-hmm. by himself. Right. We were the only show with one producer with two hosts that didn't know what the hell they were doing. We just got... We got completely, we were just thrown to the wolves. Yeah, your producer left, right? Jimmy Stewart went to the to Felger and Jimmy Mass. Stewart was freaking useless. Like, we were trying to talk. <laughs> I know Jimmy. I actually like him. So what happened? We were talking for about a month, setting it up, and using him as far as, like, a sounding board. Like, hey, help us out. What do we what do? we do? Right. You know, to get the show going. And it was just silence on his end. I was wondering, is this guy just, does he ever say anything? Does he ever talk? He was, so for, like, two months, he was working on his deal, basically, probably for Felgy and Matt. Was Berger still there or no? Berger was still there. Right. Yeah, but he was trying to actually get the hell out, too, and right. do, do different things. Oh, right, right, but right. But Jimmy, J. Stu just sort of sat there and really didn't do anything. It didn't help us with anything. And then, like, a week, a week into it, I don't even know if we were on the air yet. And he's just like, I'm out of here. And I'm like, no wonder why you didn't do shit. <laughs> like, you just sat around, worked your deal out with those guys. You didn't help either one of us. You didn't let us know anything. So he's just he just bailed, dude. Do you feel like the, do you feel like the show never figured it out, or do you think you figured th- it out? I think at, some at the point? end, I think we were a lot better than we were when we started. I thought both yeah. of us sucked at the beginning. Right. I don't know if any of us really were great at the end, but we were better. It's but hard, we had to learn though. in our way. We had to learn on our own. Basically, it's hard. I got super lucky. Like I got put in with two guys who've done it forever. Yeah. And I got a guy like Jerry who like liked the fact that I'm an asshole and crazy, sure. and I was just able to do because I remember I would do, I did. Comcast with you, you probably don't remember this. When I first, no, I, I don't think I remember someone like you. When I first, no, no, when I first got, <laughs> we knew each other before. Yeah. When I first got put on with John and Jerry, and you said to me, you and Dino won't last till Memorial Day. Mm-hmm. And it was February. And I was like, you know what? He's probably right. And if it wasn't for Jerry, I wouldn't have. I mean, right. you have to have, and John's been around forever, and he's great at what he does too. And Chach was there at first. You walked into like, you know, a sitcom that's been in the air for 10 years, and you're a guest star. Like, it's easy. What you guys did. You no, know, if I get put in that with Mutt, or if I've been putting that with you, I would have been fucked too. Like it's it's that's an un, to me like, that's yes. a, especially when you have Ordway in the afternoon and John and Jerry in the morning, and it's like who are these two fucking? If guys? they had originally done what we thought they were going to do, like put me on with Dale, right? You know, and Dale, I kind of learned right. how to do radio. Well, there, Martin Holly would have worked. There's probably. a lot, yeah, yeah. But there's a lot there to right for right. two new guys, and then maybe if they want to make a move, then you bring in Mutt and you know whatever it was. You know where else they fucked you too is in it's not Dale's fault. But they had Dale filling in, like, all over the place. Yeah, it was awkward. Dale filled in. The crosses. Like, before. Like, the, your first show, I think, Dale filled in for or John The and first Jerry. day we were on the air, I think, yes. yeah, he filled I, in in the morning. Yeah. Like, really? Is this, like, was this thought out at all? That's, that's, that's. And the, everybody was just in a tough spot, you yeah. know, because Mutt was trying and, and um, yeah, we just struggled. I mean, I think back, like, a three-man show that we have right now. You, you did a two-man show, right, with Tangway, right? Yeah. Don't you sit there and say, wow, you know, three men's just so different now. You're going yes. back to a two man. Uh, yes. You know, we've done a couple of them, but still, it's to think that Mutt and I did a two man show. Neither one of us, uh, seriously, it was a bad show at the beginning. And I think we got better, but by then, it was our damage is already done. Well, I think once the word is out, there's sort damage of a, a brand to it. What is, what's the feeling like? And this will happen to me eventually. Is there a feeling of like, do you feel like an asshole when Mutt goes and you stay in your job? Yes. Do you feel like, like you know, this is not? Well, I don't know it's unfair. Well, you know, to the word? For, I mean, I, I, I'm not one to sit there and just say, "Well, yeah, it was all on him. Right. He deserves to go." I'm just as responsible as he is. There's no question about it. So why did you stay? Uh, probably because of had a bigger name at the time. Yeah, I mean, right. realistically, right? Right. Because right. you would say, "Because I could hit a curveball." That's about exactly That's, it. <laughs> actually, I couldn't hit a curveball. I could you couldn't hit a curveball. <laughs> no, I could hit a fastball. Yeah, but that was it. And, and right. I actually think Mutt's gonna. 
get another opportunity. I think he's going to get one too because I think he's great at what he at this post game. Well, I think show he's gotten. Socks is I think he's gotten a lot better. I think Mike and I would he's talk to more him. confident. Yes, I think that's the right. biggest thing. He's when I was with him, he wasn't confident in his opinion. Right, and you know, neither was I. And then you sort of then you get that confidence, but he's more confident now. Well, I, what I what I hear, and I, I sometimes I do it when I'm with you when we when we did TV together. Or I used to fill in. It's a trap with you. I think sometimes it's not your even really your fault. But I heard Mutt do it at the start. I thought he got better. Ben's definitely did it. I still hear Christian do it. Even Lou, to some, uh, Ordway to some extent, is you feel like you've got to interview you about baseball. Yep. And you have never said to me, like, listen, I played in the major leagues. I know more than you do. You're happy to argue about it. Yep. But I think sometimes you feel that way, too, and you're working with people. Do. That you fall in this trap. And that's sometimes shitty radio. Like, yeah. why, why, why do I want to listen to you be interviewed? No, no, although, I do. As I'm interviewing you. But, but you know, when it wants to be, you can have a conversation. You can have a debate. Just because you played doesn't mean necessarily that you're right you about know, every, something. Everybody and I'm wrong about, about that. It. Oh, it's like, oh, you, you think you know everything about baseball. I have strong opinions that I believe are true. Right. So what is that called? We right. want it doesn't mean I'm right. We can yeah. debate. You know, you want to debate whether this that shit. I, I already said that I would have freaking put Pablo there opening day. Right? Could I be more wrong? Yeah. I mean, you know, on Travis. Sh- so there are things that you can debate, but you're absolutely right. But it you was, know what I mean? Do you feel that? Do you feel that? There was some intimidation. Right. I think with Mutt early, you right. know, too, especially because he he's younger, whatever. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I got interviewed. You know, and Tim, I, you know, I, I don't think he knew baseball like as much as people maybe thought that he did. Who Ben's? Yeah. So yeah. I just there wasn't much there. When why we that? Needed go, it. Why that go wrong? I think it was a bad hire, to be honest with you. And it, and I can't look blame Tim Benz because it's personality. You can't we, – we had a discussion the other day. You can't be defensive and sensitive in this market. You could have played the outsider role. Right. With no problem, right? Root for the Steelers. Right. Root that for I the agree. Penguins. It have been agree. great. Yes. But when somebody calls up and, they, and he just he, – he didn't let him speak. He would just get very defensive. He was very sensitive about it. I think if he had thicker skin and could laugh at himself, then I think it would have worked. And it was just too. It was just too ESPN. It was. It yeah. was just seeing the rundowns, man. The conference I, call. I saw them. Holy Jesus! It was like freaking. What do you want to open the show with? Okay, what do you want to talk about at ten thirty, ten forty five, eleven? And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if it's good enough to start at talking at ten, we're going to continue to talk about it at ten thirty. Like he was just all over the place with different subjects every ten minutes. Was there a point in these whatever four years before this current show where mm-hmm. you, you were just like? Fuck it. I'll just do Com- Comcast. is easy. It's easier. I can go to the park. I can talk baseball. I won't get in the fights. I don't have to deal with co-hosts. I don't have to deal with PDs, and I can just do it and, and go home. Yeah, it was, um, I'd say this year was probably the closest. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. You know, it was, um, but there was some intrigue for me, too, with, like, you know, remember, my deal was up at the end of this year, but then Ordway just come on in September. Right. So there was intrigue, you know. Almost died like, the, we almost died the week after. But. And he almost, yeah, you know, we had a good first week, too, in the ratings, yes, and he almost screwed it up. Right. But, uh, no, there was intrigue as far as, you know, it, it was a struggle for a while coming to work, how hard it was. It was a grind. I'm like, it doesn't have to be this hard. You know, I want to see if it's easy. And it is. I think it's a lot easier now, you know, for our show. So, yeah, but this off season, yeah, I thought about just not doing it, to be yeah. honest with you. Were you was part of that because you wanted the the, the Red Sox radio job? Did yeah, you get it. Yeah, and it was just like you know, this is a, where am I at right now? What do I want? You know, I've right. had it for six years. Like, do I want to just do the radio job? Hopefully, that's what but I want to do. Why do you want to do? I asked you this. Why yeah. do you want to do 162 games on the radio? Why? Why? Well, but then what do you do in the off season? Yeah, but it's the winter. Yeah, I know. But it's like when you play baseball for 15 years, that's your life. I know, but you're not a baseball player anymore. No, I know, You've but been it's a life for 10 years. But it's a life that you can. You go and you grind at it for like six months, I know, and but, then it's and then it's over. Then you sit back and you kind of enjoy. But you want to be away from your son 80, 90 nights a year? You don't want to do that. No, but you know, there's day games. We talked about that before. There's day games, there's days off. There aren't that many. On the road, you're but on the road you're on 81 the road. times a year. Maybe he gets a little bit older, maybe he kind of joins you here and there. But then all of a sudden, it's October, November, December, January, February. Right. And now you talk about time, and I know it's the winter. You know, you right. start. No, and that's the thing. That was a decision that before I even – was you know asked to do the job or didn't know if I was going to I had to talk it over with my family and be like is this something that we want to do yeah that we're willing to do right and it got to the point where we felt like yeah I think I can do it so you wanted it mm-hmm. and then they just hired somebody else and didn't tell you pretty much well yeah that's you, I would not react well to that well I didn't you didn't Maybe react well to it I did I do recall. I listened to it and it was great <laughs> but you know how do you get past that 
Like how uh, you, you drive it home, to whatever. After honestly, Comcast it, tonight, you're going to hear Tim Never and Castiglia on the radio. Does that I'm piss all, you off? I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't pass. I, I, I passed it. You know, like, will it come really? up in another year or two? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it might. But for me, it was like, okay, whatever. Move on. Status quo. Doing the same thing I'm doing before. You know, EI, Comcast. Um, now's not the time. That whole thing. Like, I believe that. So uh, it bothered me for a while before, you know, the decision was made, yeah. and then shortly after, yeah, it pissed me off. Here's my take on it, anyway. When I listen to a game on the radio now, it just feels antiquated to me. They have to change the whole fucking thing has to change. I, I, I don't want to, I don't need pitch by pitch by pitch by pitch anymore. Mm. Nobody younger than me wants to hear that. They have to figure out a way to change the traditional baseball broadcast, I think. So rather than just here's the pitch, you yes, want to you little, can lend in some sports radio, a little, a little opinion. opinion, yeah, a little opinion. You can have a little bit of a debate. You can have an argument. Yeah. You can mix in social media a little bit. Do you well, need, I agree. Do you need every single pitch? You know, I agree because that the whole thing was um, you're not strong in play by play, and uh, yeah, you have uh, 250 people apply. They're all fucking better than well, me at play by play. That's yeah, that's a, but right. you know, so it's like listen, you're right, right. but you want to talk. You want to talk about what we're seeing on the field? Right. You want to do that? Yeah, right. I'll get by, mm-hmm. right? I'll work it. I'll get by. We'll have better discussions. You know, we'll have talk about what I see and, and maybe what I've seen the last week or what's going on in the radio world. So, yeah, I would agree. You know, I, that's But that's not for now. That's not for the time being. So they made it perfectly clear. But don't, we'll you move think, on. don't you think that 10 years from now that, that the play-by-play will sound different? I mean, don't they have to? You know, I listen to – and Mutt does a great job. I listen to the pregame show sometimes, and I go over scores from the night before. Yeah, I know. I think, what, what, what year is this? I'm, the, I feel like I'm the backseat of my – you know, yeah. mom suburban, not masturbating like I did the other <laughs> time. School? But but you know, in like 1991, where you actually didn't know the score from the night before from the West things, Coast. A lot of things changing, right? It's yes. almost like the the communication they got to change in school. You know, like what's acceptable. This is the way you got to speak. All oh, right. This is the way you got to talk. And it's like, no, actually, that is not. That doesn't work at all. That might work in some small market. Right. But that that shit's done with. I totally. mean, you got to be more of more real, more controversial, more whatever, just to kind of. To make it work. Were you afraid to give your opinions at first on the radio? I've always said, like, if I if I could just, uh, if I'm honest, I can look myself in the mirror and just, or, or the player can look themselves in the mirror and see them things what I see, then I'd feel fine about it. If I don't make things up, if I don't make it personal, I don't have a problem with it. But I don't even mean, like, baseball stuff, sports stuff. I mean, are you more comfortable now talking about your wife or your kid or whatever than you would I have still, been? I still, you know, I, I think early on I was trying to figure that part of it out and, and, I just made the decision, like, we'll talk about my kid, my wife, whatever, but I wouldn't get – I try to leave him out of it. Right. You um, know, and we've done some bits, you know, with my right. kid and everything, but yeah. um, just try to leave him out of it. Really? Yeah, as far as talking about him on the radio. Yeah. I'm I know the, you talk about, like, you know. Way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I You're made, the well, same way. Well, I made up – what I decided was, you know, I did some weekends for about a year or two, and that was okay. Mm-hmm. But – I, at one point, I just said, I'm just going to talk like I, as close as you can talk like we'd be talking on the phone or in the hallway. Yeah. As close as you can. I mean, yeah. You know, there are just things that you can't say. So I just said, fuck it. I'll, I'll talk about that stuff and, you know, they'll get pissed off or they won't. But I just made that decision. I mean, you know, I don't I mean, there are stuff going on with my kids and with my family. and right. with you, you know, talk about. Right. But I think it's more interesting than not talking about it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I understand that part of it. Cause, I but mean, you, you talk know, about as, it, As though. an ex-player, obviously, if you were, like, single, you know, you could sit there and talk about, you know, what it was like when you were single and shit like that. But right. for me, it's like... Well, that's different. Out of, out of... I don't know. For me, it... I found out early on that my wife gets uncomfortable with that, so out of respect, it's like, you know, I don't need to go there. Does anymore. she listen? I'll find something else. It's And again, it's almost like I said with the players. She might be listening. She She rarely listens. Right. But she might hear from like a friend on Facebook. That's exactly, like, hey, I heard exactly. Joe Lou was talking about. So it's just it's out of respect. It bothers her, so there's no need for me to. That's do exactly it. what happens to me. Is yeah, my my baseball. family never they never hear it. Somebody mm-hmm. else tells them that, and it's you Did know. Did you hear your son today? Yeah. Would you hear your husband today? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're usually right, but yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's it's it, it turns into this into this crazy, to this crazy thing. Do you think that Fourier is better than he was like two years ago? I do. I think he's better. Yeah, I think I think Glenn has helped him out because he gets him back on the rails. Whereas Tim just there was no rails, you know. Right. He would just go, go, go. But um, yeah, his, his personality is never going to change. But I think Glenn gets more out of him. Like he sounds more like breaking football down as opposed to just a goofy guy who used to play. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, he, we, I think he works at the other things. I'm impressed like how much he wants to get better or the ideas he comes up with. Not all of them are fucking good, but. They're better than they used to be. Is Ordway? Uh, is Ordway? T- I my thought would be the Ordway would just come in and take over the show. Yes. Has that yes. happened? 
Um, I think we got to reel them back. You know, yeah. always kind of not to take over. Yeah. And we get we try to give them shit all we can. I, I mean, hear it. It's like, yeah, the, he, he likes, he it likes to talk. Yes, he likes he does. to talk. You know, and he thinks that interruption thing is like the, the sports. Hey, you don't like that. I don't. See, I like it. I, yeah, but see, it, it's different if like uh, there's a continuation of it. I think it's just, I don't think you can hear anything. Right. I think, you know, like there's a many, many times when for like 30 seconds, I'm like, well, that was a good segment. Right. I mean, nobody heard what the fuck we were just talking about, but right. I guess we're amused ourselves. Right. You know, and I think it's, you can disagree with me. You can jump on me, mm-hmm. but you, you you know by doing this when someone's almost done talking, but when you're in the middle of it, yeah, it's just different. let me finish, right. and then you That's can rip different. me, yeah. and then we'll go back and forth. Unless you're in a real friggin' screaming, you know, insane yeah, match. Yeah, we know. Huh? It's happened before. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. That's we're happened. just talking over each other. That what has happened? Happened. It hasn't happened that many times, though. No, just a couple. I'd say we had a thing, it was a couple of years ago. We were ago. at a golf tournament, the Remy thing, the you Red were... Sox Hall of Fame. I got right. all you guys for shitting all over it. Yeah, I mean, what, I, mean, what, I don't know. What, why'd you do I that? I don't know. It was that time of the month. Were you wrong on that one? Can you I admit no you're wrong on that no, one? I think you guys were shitting on a good moment. Oh, but it's it's, it's a fucking plaque I know, in the hallway. I know. I just, what do you want me to do? Do you ever have days where you sit there and no, say, why did I fucking no, get so never, pissed about never that? Happens. It's never, never happens. It's never happened to you it's before. Never That's really never happened. No, I can't it, think of it. This is like, I have no idea why it got pissed me off. It just did. I'm sorry. And sometimes that just happens with me. I like, like I just that. get emotional I told sometimes. You, it pisses me off. We talked the other day. I said, truthfully, the guy at the station who is closest to me in temperament is mm-hmm. you. You that, are that me. That doesn't make you me feel me. good. It shouldn't. You're me without the screaming, I think. Yeah. And I do think, and I've told you this before, I do think off-air Lou is a little different. Not a lot, but right. a little different than on-air Lou. Is it more of an angry asshole Lou? Off the air? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like that Lou. It comes out once in a while. It does come out once in a while, but that's that's the real Lou, I think. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know if it's a real Lou, but sometimes it's like, uh, yeah, that angry side of it. Yes. And that's thing, some things that piss me off. That's why angry Lou, people are like, they love this angry Lou what thing. What else pisses and you off? And it's just real. Like what? what else? <sighs> You get pissed at us. You get pissed at our show. I do get pissed at you guys. What do we do? But that's good. But what? Like what? The podcast is like a little thing, you know. What do you mean? Just little things. What, 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 it's what? nothing big. You know, I heard you the other day say like that we think that uh, your your subject matter hurts our show. That's that's your boy Ordway, because Christian and I don't really think it matters for the show. Well, I like four he listens to our show. Well, we listen. Yeah, we no, listen I don't think four he listens to our show. I think yeah. he listens to Touch and Rich. The, you do? Yes. Well, I think people bounce around. No, don't I think you? he listens you don't, to Do you ever listen to... Uh, yes, I say it all the time. I listen to bull shows. I yeah. listen to Bertrand and Zola. Exactly. I listen to you guys. I listen to Felger and I listen to... Who? Those guys across the street? Tremendous. Great show. It's a good show? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they must be. I hate to go on at 10 o'clock because <laughs> I don't want people to, to not listen to them. You're right. You know, I hate to start the pie. Uh, they, they, they must hurt their ratings, they're too. They're fine. I mean, they're with it. I, I like Zolak. And I, they're nice guys. That's the other thing. Is they're okay, guys. I, I've said... How many times have I said that your show is the best show on Mid-day? Yes. Yes. You never say that about our show? I think it is. The fuck? Why, well, just, Fuck you. Why did you say that? What do you mean? Why did you say we were the best show? Do you remember that day? Because it was like you, you were in your moaning your little fucking rants. What does that mean? About like it was just one of those days where I probably did something and got under your skin. Right. So you just it was one of those days where you got pissed off. Nothing else going on. Right. Let's kill so it. Let's that's kill why you said it. So you want me to get pissed? I will. Dennis and, yeah, Callahan with Minahan is the best show in the morning. No question about Thank it. Thank you. That's all I wanted all right? to hear. Best that's, show. That's all I wanted to hear. There it is. What do you think of the other shows in the station? Uh, um... I think you guys are good. Yeah. I think you guys are very good, obviously. Thanks, and I, and I do think, listen, I grew up with D&C, but I think you've added some enthusiasm to it. Go ahead. You, and, and it's great. I think Lenny Clark hit in the head. People like, fucking want to kill you, but they want, it makes you want to listen. Did you ever think, right? hey, I want to do a show with Minahan? I was out there. Who? I was a, you. I was a free agent. I Absolutely. A- I'll tell you what. I told people, we had a discussion a long time ago, that I, I was... Praying that they would put you on, give you your own show. And they kept saying, he's not ready, he's not ready. Right. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, he's not ready. And I actually feel the same way about Picard. I know, you like Picard a lot. I think Danny Picard is very good. You like him and, a little more than I do. Well, I know, he's got an accent, but I think no, he's good. Not the accent. There's a lot of emotion, there's a lot of passion. Can you do... Who knows? Can you do outside sports? Can you? We didn't know. I didn't know. Can I, I do didn't outside? know. No, you're, I know, but I hear I didn't him. know you knew all about like transgenders and, <laughs> and politics. Well, I didn't know you were that kind of guy. Well, I, think what well they, read. I think what they found with me was this sort of... Wacko personality. I'm talking personality. Right. Does he have that personality? I think he's wacko. I don't know. But I'm just saying, getting on to it. But still, I think that, you, well, that show us. is very, very good. Uh, we, we, and we're, I, we're I, think, I think our show is good. You know, in the afternoon, Dale, I grew up with Dale and Holly, but I still view them as a no, midday show. You grew show. up with Dale and Holly. Just Holly's well, your age. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, like, you know, like the years, like the five, whatever 12 years they were. to them. You're no, my age. How old are you? When I was playing. How old are you? Okay, not grew up. My adult life. I'm 45. You're 45? Yeah. I feel like 43 or 44. No, 45. So my adult life while playing was Dale and Holly, and Get I old. still view it as like midday. 
I can't get it past it. And it's like still has that feel to me, right. you know, like midday. And then Thornton, he adds, you know, I don't. I, Go ahead. I'm sure he's a funny stand-up comedian, but I don't know. On the, on the air, you know, it's a difference between funny radio. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of funny from him. No, I don't get a lot of funny from no. him. Great guy. I love, I love Jerry Thornton. But I just, I just, honestly, God, I can't get that midday feel out of it. I want more edge. Yeah. But I'm not telling them how the hell to do their job. I mean, Obviously, they're fine. Why? They give a nice alternative to the other show, Yeah, I think, because the other show is just bizarre, and people like more comfortable, and that's what they are. It's, it's nice. a weird thing right now. You know, our station, in reality, does pretty damn well in the ratings like yes in, in, in a in a real world this is where people will shit on us but in the real world like you know you do whatever eights and tens and sevens and elevens or whatever mm-hmm. that's a great fucking rating but for some reason right now the other place is on a roll i can't I mean, explain and i can't you know i do laugh because you're right because there's guys like people out like indiana that we, we fought with in the past in the fall right I mean, you know, and they're like, like we're number one to market i'm like yeah with like a four <laughs> yeah, he did a five. Five. i mean, I mean you know? but i can't but you we're like, like fifth with an eight but you sound like a bitch when you when you when sure you, you, do. you know you can't win you know you get all the tweets at you when the book comes you out wear and it. i feel like saying to him hey you know, let's take a look at every sports station in the country. Mm-hmm. I bet you we were second in the fucking country in the fall. But I think it's. A, I th- but I what think, are you going to say? You I think we put on good shows. You can't explain it. You wear it. You try not to make excuses, and you just move on. That's do all you, you can do. do I don't, you have any? Uh, what I else guess, I could do? Do you have any other reasons why that they're that they're doing a little better than we're doing? I think that um, this station severely fucked up when we didn't go to FM a long no, time ago. Was a Two big years mistake. on AM. You ever go to eight fifty right now? I, well, you ever listen to it? No, yes, I do occasionally, and I can't you believe hear what anything? it sounds like. It's amazing. I hear that. But there's no I, alternative, and so I was stuck John with John and Jerry. John and Jerry won books for a while on 850. Yeah. It's 98.5, which is fucking I just think the alternative. They and, beat Stern on that. On that. Yep. That's It's crazy. I think that has a lot to do with it. And, you know, the younger market kind of just goes to FM. I, I think that two years, it really got them going, the ball rolling. They... And they are where they are right now. So it's nothing talent wise, show wise. I think everything here is just as good. It's just it's an uphill battle. You continue to do it. I mean, you, you you're, so you're having fun every day now with Lou. And I enjoy Christian. it. It's a lot easier. It's so much easier. It, I'm just meaning of, like just coming to work and doing the show. Because you have there. Yeah. Right. Not Fourier. No, Christian too. Christian's fun. Yeah. He is fun. You'd like him if you hung out with him. We don't like each other. You get annoyed. True or false? He doesn't like me. I don't think he cares. That's that's a bullshit answer. No, I no, I think he knows you're, you're like nuts. What does you know that mean? what I mean? I think he I think knows you're a little bit off center. No, nah, I don't think he likes me, which is okay. I don't mind that, but I, I get the sense. I don't think he, he dislikes you. I really don't. Yeah, I, think I really he doesn't don't like me. I think and I don't blame him, but I don't, I don't think he's a big fan no. of mine. He's a good guy. Who else he's doesn't like funny. me? Who else talks shit about me since we're here? <laughs> Mics are off. You know who loves you? What People at Comcast. And they oh, miss you. Really, it's weird. Where are you going to be tonight? We're they taping miss you. this on a Wednesday. Where, where are you going from here? I'm going to Comcast. I'm not. They do know you're not. That much. You know, local likes you. Eh, you know, that was bigger than that. You know, it got to the point where they're like, okay, once again, corporate was just like this freaking guy, Minahan. Why is his name on my desk? Why do I need this guy in my life? He didn't know you. It was their decision was gone. They just made it. See you later. Do you think there's a You'll spot? Be back. No, I, I, I actually don't think I will. You'll be back. I'm only, I actually don't think I will. I like Nesson. I want to. I want to go on with uh, L. Duncan and. and uh, L's going ESPN. It's an opening. Maybe you should try the anchor. I want to work with um, Gary. No, uh, Adam Pellerin and. Yep. Uh, 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 You're perfect for them. Like very controversial. Stay out of the way. I just mm. give them what they want. Is yeah. there a place? I believe that somewhere from six A to six P, there is a daily spot on the station for Tangway. He's a needle mover right now. I agree. It is the time for Tangway to be on one of these shows. Is it? Is it? Uh, see, I think he's ideal, especially. Can you, imagine like I, him, can you imagine putting him with Dale and Holly? Does he work example? every day, though? Can he do it every day? Because here's the thing, and, and, and maybe he can. Like, he just randomly pops in here, and you guys can still freaking talk to Flakegate. Oh, you know, like, I drive today. in, and I'm like, we can't great. talk about this. Well, what we did today was. Because he's so bizarre. He pops in once in a while that people just jump on his ass. We were talking before the show, and we were talking something about, about that, that story about the second, the appeals granted for a couple of weeks or whatever. And Tango was like, I don't even know what the big deal is. He's like, the most important part of this franchise history is craft. And I was like, oh. Yeah, and here we go. I'm keeping this. I'm going to play this, throw this at him at some point. And the way we went But for... you pocketed something yes. for later? Yes. Oh, yes. That's a hard, shocker. Hard to believe. Holy I said, shit. I said, we will make a show out of this because there was, it was a chicken friggin' yeah, shit day It today. really was. And I heard you guys talk about it for three hours. And we said, and that's the thing. There's certain things that I listen to you that are useless for our show because... There's certain things you guys can just talk and we can't. Well, certain things and that was one of them that I was just like, because of Tangway right. and his approach. Well, that's, I mean, if I we, mean, had... we could have got, no, Ordway would have licked Kraft's balls too. No, no shit. So he, he kind of did for a while. That's what, that's why Lenny Clark called in today. You don't think he's that gotten was good. fucking freebies from the Crafts over the years? That was good. But he was mad and he was swearing. Like, we had, I know. To, we, had to, we had to dump him and Ordway said, yeah, he hates you. 
It like, was good. I'm like, he hates me? What? It's like a hate love. I think love he hate. hates me. I don't understand why it's these hate people, love before the love. These people never understand. Like, what? What are they? Where's? What's up with all the hate? Why the hate? The, I mean, I hate they, everybody. But wouldn't they come back and say that about you on the radio? What do you mean? Do you think you're the same guy off and on? I think it's pretty close. I think it's pretty close too. Because people ask me that all the time. Pretty close. But you want to see? I always felt like this job is like whatever you are, your opinions, your words. Why are you? Uh, yeah. What, what? No, I'm just. But you just, but you just, you just like did like a drawing. I just did. Yeah, I, I just my hands. I'm Italian. <laughs> but whatever you are, right? I think on radio, it's like on just on steroids a little bit. Well, it's amplified, right? But you have it to has, do that, it has right? to be right. Well, this is an amplified conversation. We're not this animated when we talk in the morning. We're just like, hey, what's up? What's right. up? But that's what I mean. That's what the business is. It's sure. Like well, a little it's... bit on a little pumped up. Right. So you could take this and you can go absolutely berserk. Yeah. And people would look at you and say, "Why so much hate, Kirk Minahan?" Towards I think that's what? a lot towards everything, towards life. Yeah, but there's a lot of hate inside. But there, you get bro. frustrated. I mean, but there's a get, lot of people trying to psychoanalyze your ass. But you get fr- I know a lot of people ask about me. Yeah. I don't understand it. I'm You're just try- right. I'm just trying to do a show. What's he like? I do a show. Do you, you get a lot people- of Oh you- my no, god! No, that's not true. Swear- I mean, what do you say? Oh. Great guy. Yeah, I said good guy, and they're like a, a great guy, and they and they asked me the <laughs> same thing. <laughs> is he is he really like what he is? And I said yes. I said slightly toned down, but he doesn't make anything up. It's just him. Yes. Well, I think that's the that's the key, isn't it? That's what it's supposed to be. I mean, I well, it's different when you do this and you know people and you hear them on the air pretending. Mm-hmm. I don't know if the listeners can understand. So you're that. saying that my angriness and hatred off the air, so I'm a slightly toned down on the air. No, I think the, put it this way: the day that you didn't get the play by play job, that, that was, was a loo day. That was real. When you and I were arguing, that was a loo day. Yes. I hear moments with you when you get frustrated. Yeah. And I hear a little bit of, you know, there are times during segments where I hear you say, this is fucking boring. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Right? I mean, that could drive you crazy. Like, I just days sit like, there and I just stare at the wall. Like day, days like today. Did today was today. Not today that it sucked. Was it, was it just a shitty fucking boring show? It was. Yeah, I had the gift of Tangway today. You know, we had Werner in there for a few segments. Terrible or no? No, it's not bad. You know, you talk about insurance, blah, blah, blah. Right. You know, and just it is, it is, it's slow. It's nothing. The I dog mean, days suck. You look back and it's. I, I wonder what it was like. I mean, people really talk baseball like in 05, 06, 04. I was wondering like, that the other people day. People always say that. Oh, we used to always be able to talk baseball. Really? Like here in first week of May, it's like four hours of the breaking down a game? Is do that... you get a lot of reaction when you do that or no? No, we, we don't get any reaction. I mean, we get Zilcho. We... There's certain things. Ortiz, well, actually, well, he's issues. not even one anymore. Yeah, Buckholtz, right. Polarizing, right. Hanley. Farrell, Jess. I mean, no. I'm serious. Like, shit like that. That was I the mean... hardest part about me when I joined this. I thought that I was going to come on here and break down baseball. Well, I, and I, I get the instinct that you still want to do that, though. Yeah, but I did that, and I realized that it's boring as fuck. Right. Like, for a listener. Yes, it might like be it. it. might be information, and I love doing right. it. But I was like, how do I talk baseball more entertaining way? You know, yeah. like, how do I... Have you figured that out? Well, I'm trying, yeah. It's more yeah, issues, I think right? so. I think, yeah, it's more about the issues than it is um, some of the plays, you know, that you're seeing or what you're really seeing. So it's 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 still difficult. So now that you're getting older, so you said you would have left to do the... Or, would have done the play-by-play yep. job. Would you maybe go and do a? Uh, would you go be a coach now, maybe, or be a yeah, scout? As I get older, yes. I mean, that's more kind of some things that were out there. And I mean, how many to discover years? Whether something. What's I wanted your to sentence do. here? I mean, how many years do you have left on your deal? It's kind of like uh, a couple years, I think. What yeah, do you so think you know in. the answer to that question? Year by year, 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 year to year. You have a one-year deal? Option, option. Yeah. Really? Option, option, option. Yeah. Jesus. To keep our options open. You're smarter than me. Yeah. So, so we'll see what happens. the rest of my life. You are? Yes, I am. Well, you're big money now. Nah. I mean, was it, like in, in a 12-month span, you redid your deal like, what, three, three or four times? times? Three because times. You're like I'm not done yet. Big shot. And... I'm not done yet. Well, you got to, if you have it, you got to, I mean, you have your shot. You got to jump in and take advantage. Absolutely. I mean, I, I had Comcast leverage then. Now I have none. I have no leverage at all. None. I'm going to be here forever. Just numbers. That's your leverage. Yeah, but they right? can say, fuck you. Go. You can't go anywhere. Just sit here and, you know, they can, numbers are great, but that they can say- happen. What do you mean? Because like you said, you got leverage. I think people look oh, at it and just say, well, just, I'll get fired. Well, there's no question you will. I mean, I'm you getting, know, you know, it'll be my fault. There will I'll, be a day. That, yeah, oh, there's, there's, there's no doubt, right? Oh, and I will go scorched earth on everybody here. Yeah. Everybody. I have things on everybody. I know. So that's the thing you, you do. See, oh, I, I I've do. had this discussion be real, before but... of like people that like, you know, fight with Minahan, and it's like, you, you could just be something you're not even talking about, and here comes the right hook. Stored in. Like, he has been something in his back pocket he heard from you a year and a half ago, and here it comes. Remember that one time you told me? Boom! Right in front of your face. I'm like, you got to counter with something, you know, or he's going to knock you out. But it's like, I've learned it at first. I'm like, wow, this guy (laughs) can come and just freaking swing out of nowhere. But yet people still tell me things. I know. I don't understand that. I think it's your personality. Really? Like, I was convinced I wasn't going to do this. 
Yeah, I knew you were going to do this. Yeah, so when you texted me back the other day, yeah. and you were like, I don't think it's a good idea. I was like, is this yeah. fucking guy mad about something I said the other day? No. I couldn't believe that. I was like, Lou's not going to not gonna not. You were worried that you were going to say something, something stupid. Yeah, I was worried it was going to get all worked up. You haven't done anything kinda, too crazy. No, nothing yet. Oh, no, it's all right. I mean, we're wrapping what up. What else you want to talk about? <laughs> you, can ask me any, you can ask me anything you want. I'll, I'll answer anything. No, no, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, but you're right. At first, I was like, I don't know if it does me any, does it any good. Talk about gossip in the office, you know? Yeah, but it gives you some shit to do on your show. You could play a segment. Orbe loves it. Orbe's in love with me. Oh, yeah. He's he obsessed loves with me. He does. You know, he acts like he, you know, he's, but he would love, he would love to work with he's me. He's so pissed you didn't invite him to do a podcast yet. Why am I going to bring him in to talk well, about I'm just saying, the 85 like just, Celtics? Like you said, he's like, he loves. Yeah, he's like, you know. Here's my thing. With you, I knew that I could scratch under the surface and get some stuff. I wonder sometimes at the Ordway if there's anything underneath that what surface. What more do you want to scratch? What, what else are you looking for? What do you mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> you're, now you're asking. Now you're asking. <laughs> you you, we can do whatever you want. No, that's all right. You know, that's okay. We're good. We're are good. you satisfied with the uh, direction of the sta- station management? See, why? that's it. See, why do I have to even go there and open up the what? door? Well, no, what I think that. Uh, what pisses you off? I think what. I think what pisses me off is that, like, you know, we have – sometimes I feel like as a show we, we kind of bring things to management and we're just told – Give me an example of that. shut up and worry about other things. Well, give me an example. I'll be, well, you know, I'll be, I'll be cagey me because maybe it's stupid. Let me hear it. Well, no, there's some things um, – I have asked, but we have asked before as a show and said that, you know, does does this podcast hurt us at all? Right. Like 10 o'clock hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been three months. Right. Still waiting for that information to come You're back. You're lose that power battle with me every time. Right. Right. With you? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We just get told. No, is that, do they don't answer? Or they no, say just, no? Because I, I honestly, I truthfully it think It gets uncomfortable answer. and it's just like to worry about, you guys worry about too much stuff. Your eyes always bitch. That's all. Well, what do you think they say to us? Yeah. Same thing. Everything. I mean, you know, we, we bitch about a million things. We don't get any answers. It's better communication. Don't you think? Wouldn't you agree? Well, here's what I would like. Here's what I'd like. When people come in and say, um, and I actually, I don't know. Do you like Graham? I actually like Graham. Yeah, I think he's a good guy. I think he's a good guy. Um, but I get frustrated with him sometimes. Yes. Because he'll come in and say, okay, you guys did a uh, 12 in Touch and Rich to the 14. Yeah. Um, 25 to 34, you guys did a 8, and they did an 18. We have to do better at that. Does he tell you how? No. no. So I say, okay, well. Same walk- thing. And he tells us to play classic rock. I'm like, that ain't going to fucking attract <laughs> that's not, that's 18 to 24 that's, that's, or whatever. That's, that's not going to help. And right. John and Jerry and I, I don't think are ever going to be a – destination audience for a 25-year-old kid. I could right. be wrong. That's not true. For a certain 25-year-old kid, it's not going to change. No. Unless you have some great idea. And, and to Graham's defense, I think he'd say, well, if I came up with some ideas, you guys would shoot them down. He's probably right. Probably true. But stuff like that occasionally will frustrate me. Uh, truthfully, the thing with Schilling yesterday, he came on your show. Yes. Frustrated me. But as I told Ordway when he called to apologize, this he is did? Glenn Ordway, who is a giant in the market, you know, the number one guy in the market for a decade. He called to apologize? He called he to apologize. Did he really say that? Yeah, pissed. Is he, are you serious or no? No, did you? He called you? Yeah. Did he really say? Are you bullshitting me or no? Not? <laughs> <laughs> so, I just so, want to see that look so, in your eye. Like, so, I got something. I got a hook. I can do something tomorrow. Yes. He. Um, so Shelly called your show. Yep. And and as I said to 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 Glenn and I said to Graham, I actually would love to, but I don't blame the mid midday guys for mm-hmm. this. You see it in one eleven or whatever it is. It's blinking shilling. Yeah. You not you're not thinking. I think it would have been different if Joey was there. I do too. Because so, I honestly, I just you, I forgot the, you even had him. Although I will say, you did get pissed when we had Malar on that time. I did, but you booked him. I didn't book him. I don't fucking want that. Your producer books him. Yeah, I don't want to have any guests on. You know, we've that. Had, we've had we've had guests, guys like Stephen A. That says like, yeah, you know, I told that kid Curtis that um, I was going on in the afternoon and middays, and he said, don't worry about it, everything's good. So yeah, I believe it. I believe like we've that. had that shit. That shit that pisses us but off. The, but what pisses me off about the shilling thing? I'm more pissed off at shilling because shilling is just like hey, I fuck, understand. Fuck it, which you can understand, but it's not your fault. But I want to say the management, you have to have a conversation with this guy. Right. Not your fault. Right. But you have to have a conversation with this guy so that doesn't happen again. We had Schilling on today, and other than just bitching about it for yep. the first 90 seconds, we essentially re- did the same fucking interview you did the day before. Yeah. And he's tough to Audi- a nine. You know, he's, he was not yeah. awake. He, no. he had already slept through one of them. It was frustrating. I was That pissed me off. And you have to say to this guy, he's already slept through one interview. You have to say to him, either show up, be awake, and give a good performance. We have people, we have sponsors paying for this, yeah. and you're getting paid, or don't do it. Go on the midday show. Go on the afternoon show if you're going to be awake. That shit pisses me off. And I feel like this. we've had this conversation with Schilling for three years. Yeah. You know, and at some point, you know, that's that, that that's where management has to step in. You guys running late pisses me off, too. I don't know. 
know why that hurts that, but it we, have does. A, we have a good audience, though. Yeah, I know, but Doesn't it does. Does help you? No, it kills us. But don't come in for the fucking cross, then. Well, there's no difference, though. No, there's not? Because we've missed a cross before, and you go fucking late. You know, the thing is, we do Why the... does that hurt you? I'm, I, I'm asking this, not, I'm not arguing, but you know, I don't the, know the, the I'm answer. just saying, like, ratings-wise, right? 15-minute quarters, you got to get five minutes of 15 minutes. Yeah, but if we're coming in with an 11 rating, how does that hurt you guys? Because you go to commercial break at 59. Right. So if we come back at, like, 07... We don't get any of those five minutes. Your, your audience is basically till 10 o'clock. Well, you get all the credit then. for it. You can go to 10.05 is what you should do. I'm not doing that. But what I'm, I'm saying fucking, is like, I, if I, you see me, do I want to be around after 9.55? No, 9. I know, I know I, but at 10.03, when you go to turn on the radio, you hear those guys on. We're during a commercial break, so they stay the opening segment with them. So we never, we always wondered like, how much do we get hurt are they closer, for the first are they 15 minutes. Are they on the clock like that every time? Yeah, they're pretty good. They're all stationed. They're, they're, they're pretty disciplined well, when it comes to We're never told it. this. That's, I know. I think they are actually trying to implement this whole like soft clock thingy, whatever. How that, I don't know how that's working. Started being not. ignored. Are I know. Paying attention to that? No, because it's no about discipline. Today. We Sometimes can't... I feel like we're the freaking Buffalo Bills. You lack discipline, and I think that it does. I think it affects us. Station... But you know what? It's only been three years, so you would think that maybe some information, like once again, would be put in our face, either proving it or disproving it. That hasn't happened yet either. Well, yeah, I was going to say you don't even know if it's true. Or we not. don't even know. We talk about these clocks all the time, and right. I'm like, well, how do we know it's going to work? We don't. You know, sometimes I like unpredictability. Like Tango and I went on the came on today at eight twelve. It's probably a fucking disaster, but who knows? I don't know that. I think, but you know what? I think it's different once you get within the show. And I just wonder, like that first show, the show you mean? Yeah, like that first. What time are we supposed to be out? Fifty five. Because you know, your show starts, you know, whatever. If you go to like eight o eight o two, we go really late. Like it's we'll your up. audience. You, we'll catch up. Yeah, you catch up. So we're supposed to be out at fifty five. I think fifty five, fifty six. But then you come and in. And I would for, appreciate it if you'd start fucking doing it. But you but you come in for a cross of fucking 55 or 56. Yeah, but we do our cross, and then when we leave, How does, is Jerry Callahan always, brings up like another subject every day. You know, before we go to those guys, did you guys see that the best <laughs> movie rating on the weekend? Did you see Creed did 20 million? And I'm like, you're supposed to leave right now. How does now. the cross benefit our show? It crosses don't benefit. So anything. why do we do them? Well, actually, they're supposed to benefit. I agree with Why? you. I don't see much of them. What? You guys mail them when you come we don't need the cross. Be- we don't need a cross. Just, we'll just tell you. Listen, we're doing an interview. I know, but when just that happens, then there's a sense that, that we're pissed at each other when that happens. No. we said no, Nobody wants to do them. So why do you come in? Nobody wants to. Well, how does it happen? I, I'm, I'm on the air, Because though. you, how does you it send a producer out, and they say, they we want someone for a cross. Out. Well, somebody walks into our office who wants to do a cross. And we'll just look at each other. Ordway's usually not even fucking there yet. So, you know, we'll come in, and it's, you're right. Nobody wants to do them. Who is your, Ordway, uh, Callahan and Dino are obviously on the back nine. They're going to be gone soon. If I have anything to say about it, they'll be really soon. Okay. Who should take over for those guys with me in the morning? Tangway. That's just me and Tangway? I think you can make it work. You don't want a third person in there? Um, like a smaller voice? A smaller voice. Could I deal with Tangway? Can every you day? go back to like where it was? Uh, I don't the know, almost thing? like the, like the produce. Yeah, like a like a smaller voice. That's right. all. But you know, listen, Dino might be on his way out, but Callahan's not. No, he's not. I don't want to go either. So Dino, so Tangway's jumping in there. I mean, I know that's a game plan. I know that's something. I you don't guys know have that's a game talked plan. Talked about for years. It's not what Orbe wants. Um, but Orbe wants to mourn. Oh, does he? Oh, like you, like you know, like you would really? believe. Well, he thinks there's more money there. Sure. Or he wants the afternoon back. Yeah, he wants you know, the big show say, back. Who the hell are you kidding? He's like, you know, I, I, I told Phil, you know, <laughs> afternoons, they're a concern. <laughs> Do you, you, <laughs> you know when you got in here at 10, it was, I mean, I, I don't personally know, but there's got to be like, m- be able to move, right? Up or down? When you made like the deal? Like Wardway? Yeah. When I he guess. first walked in the door? Yeah. Do it for a couple of years, and then we'll move you up but or But do you down? really sense that he wants to be part of the 10 o'clock show like going forward? Do you think he's got his eye on one of the other shows? I think he's got his he's eye on He's a snake. We know he's a fucking snake. I think snake. he's got his eye on his other shows. And I don't know if that makes him a snake. It just makes him as a guy that wants to kind of move on. You can put your guy Picard in. There you go. Picard, Fourier, Merlone. That would work. Although like, I think I think he's got to learn to work with others. He doesn't like to do shows with other people, right? I know. It's kind of That's funny. I told up. him. I said, bro, you better start nothing. The only week I did it by myself, it sucked. Yeah. It's the worst. But he does. Mount Rushmore Well, shows. he does his podcast all the time, so he's used to it. But no, I get somebody else in there, let him work at it. I got, I, like I, got I got theories in everybody. I think four A's got one eye out the door. He wants to do like TV. I or always something. worry about that. I think he wants to do. I think he's going to think this is too hard after a I th- while. I always feel like every single spring, like honestly, like last year, that he's like, all right, now the football season's over. I'm going to take some job and get to like spring, pre- you know, whatever camp, right. mini camp, right? And I'm going to be like a tight ends coach for like Seattle. Yeah, why not? Keep waiting for it. Although he's got a million kids, but here, he's got right? so many kids here now. But no, I think he likes it. You know what could work with us? Mutt, maybe in a year or two. Yep, Mutt could do that. Tangway, I'm worried about Tangway every day. Yeah. I just don't know if he can do it every day. Doesn't he fall asleep like sometimes like 9 or 9 You ever work with Karin? He just sort of runs out he of gas? He checks out after two hours. Today that's at 8 it? o'clock, Tangway's like, I don't think I can make it. Like, Gary, it's fucking 8 let's o'clock. Radio. Let's radio. Let's get paid the same amount of money and change to three hours. Shifts. Would you want to do a different shift or do you like 10 to 2? Uh, 10 to 2 is very comfortable. 
Although it's traffic not as easy. Traffic sucks, doesn't it? I tell you what, it's not. Everyone's like, oh, 10 to 2. You had traffic in the morning, you had traffic in the afternoon. Right. You know what I mean? So, But still, it's still not bad at all. I mean, I I, I enjoy it. The thing you is, do? you come home for a few hours, and people don't understand. I know you guys work in the mornings, too, but yeah, at 7 o'clock, kind of go back to work again. Oh, for right? Comcast, you mean? Well, no, I'm what do you for, mean? for radio. I mean, sometimes a game is on or everything oh, else. So it's yeah, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, oh, you work from 10 to 2, four hours a day. That must be tough. And it's like, well, that's not really it. Are you going to do any Red Sox radio this year at all? I don't think so. You haven't been asked? I have been asked. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, I think originally it was, originally they wanted me to do, I don't even know, a bunch of games. And I just said, it's just too much. I just can't. It's too much. Well, weren't I can't you doing do like, Weren't you doing like one a week or something at one point? I was doing uh, every home Monday. So it was like one or two times a one a month, two times then, a month, and you'd have a Tuesday and show, was, and it's a bitch. I mean, that's well, you know, Michael K does a show every day. Two to six is different, though. I know, but that's, two to six. but that's so crazy, though. But if he's got something to watch at night after a game at midnight, he can go to bed. Yeah, that's and he true. can wake up at ten o'clock and watch a Rangers game. That's true, right? Like, like I used to do it a couple times, and at, at midnight I come home and it's like a Bruins playoff game. Yeah, you can't do Celtics it. Celtics playoff game, and it was like uh, it's a it's a pain. Do you know that they actually did offer me that in November? What both. What do you mean both? The play-by-play job. And sticker on the 10-2 show. They yeah. didn't offer you one or the other. Both. You had to do both. Wanted me to do both. What's so, that tell you? So tonight, you'd be in Chicago. 25, six games into it, I'd be doing every game and both. So you'd be tonight, you'd be in Chicago. Yep. Doing the game. Yep. In and, the studio. And then the next day in Chicago. Apparently. In wherever, whatever. ESPN Chicago studio they could find for you. Apparently. What happens when you're traveling? So you wouldn't do the show? No, I'd do the show from the road. And then you'd fly? What if you're on the West Coast? I'd do the show from the road. So you would do the show from... Uh... No, what it is is somebody wanted me to turn it down. Oh, you think that's what it was? it was physically impossible. It's physically impossible. Did you consider did you, it for, did, a, no, for a second? I, no, no, not for one second. Not even for one second. The minute it was brought up to me, I said, that's ridiculous. I don't know whoever thought of that, for some reason, just wants me to turn it down. There's no physical way I could get up at 6.30, 7 in the morning, come to work, yeah, leave really, here, go to Fenway, yeah. and then be done at 11, get home at midnight, Maybe you have to watch a game and get back up again and do that every single day for six months. It's physically impossible. They just wanted me to turn it down. Why would they want you to turn it down? So they could maybe tell somebody that I turned it down? You turn, I don't know. turn the job down? Maybe. I have no idea. So when, when does but this, all I know is that someone... When does this come up again? I don't even know if it ever will. What are you, Honestly, mean, it's, what are you talking coming, about? Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Things change. You know, I know I put it off for a couple more years now, so we'll see. What do you think of the current duo in the booth? I think that they they just they got a play by play guy, you know what I mean, and and that, maybe that's just radio. I you know I work with Joe, I love Joe, you know, but I think they got another guy like a younger family. Joe. That's all. I got a Joe. Yeah, you got to change. To me, you got to like I said it before. You got to change the fucking style. You well, play by play. It's just, but I'm just saying. Like I, last year, last summer, I listened to a lot of play by play guys. Were you trying radio. to do it? Yeah, like I was yeah. listening all every day driving, you know, and I was listening to different games, and I realized. That this is just what people do. That just you know, like, round ball. You know, it was just right. all over the country. Yes, and that's just race baseball. That's just radio. Not everyone is you know Vince Scully. I mean, it was just wow. But and I do think the people who hire these people think that that's what they're supposed to hire. I guess you know because yeah. it sounds like what they've always heard. But right. the world is to me like the voices like. Dino does a great job, but mm-hmm. the days of people who talk like Dino, I think, are starting to end. Like, I think people want to hear... I don't even know if Dino has, like, that, like, Well, he's got a very articulate voice. old sort of TV, yeah. you know... Uh, but it's not like, you know... No, that, but, but, uh, but, that, but I know. feel like it's... Like, when he does reads, he sounds like a pro. It almost feels like the world has changed now. They yeah. want to hear people who talk like Callahan. I think they want it a little or rougher. Us. Yeah, I You think. know what I mean? Rough around the edges a little bit. Like, that's... And one thing I always remember talking about, like, you know, with all the changes we've had, they're like, but can he host... I always get that, right? What do you mean? Can he host? Lunch like, like, yeah, can uh, Minahan. Remember a yeah. few years ago, I was like, yeah, but can he host? I couldn't, really. And, and I was like, but who cares? I, it doesn't really matter. Once you get, the, once you get the conversation, like, who's hosted this? I mean, who, we have a yeah, conversation. Who gives a rat's ass if you can go in and out of breaks? And what, you don't think within, like, a couple of months you'll get a little bit better at it and with a little bit better at it? Like, who cares? Rough around the edges I don't is like sitting real. in that seat, though, do you? No, I hate it. I, it feels... It, it feels all encompassing. No, you can't pay attention. I'm not a big fan of it. No, guys I, who do it well, or that does yes, impress me. I agree. You can have and can drive a show and actually have opinion. Not guys who are getting in and out of breaks, but guys who can actually, like Ordway. Once the segment starts, he's good at that. Yeah, but know? I just think people want like, where it's real. It's just a little rough around the edges. That's all. Not always polished. You right. know, like I mean, you need a little bit of that, I guess. But when do you think uh, we'll wrap up? When do you think our next fight will be? Oh, uh, let's try to think here. It's only been a few weeks. 
I, you know, I was going to say, did we fight in the summertime? Yeah, we did, actually. That one oh, we sure did. Red Sox Hall of Fame thing. No, oh, oh, oh. Well, when did we just, we just, oh, no, we fought in the winter this last time. Month and a half. Oh, that soon? Yeah, I don't, two months. No, two months. I'm I don't know, around, I'm months. not going to be around much in the summer, Lou. You're not? No, I don't think so. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to be around. You know, you we don't are? get the vacation days. We don't have, we get screwed. Oh, that's right. That's why you want your comp days. Good day. That's right. That's why we want that's, a freaking you comp get, day. You didn't get the comp day, yeah, did you? Yeah, I mean, you got, what, five weeks vacation, six weeks, and you're bitching to us about, oh. I didn't bitch about that. I said I had your back on that one. That was Callahan. You I had did? your back on that one. Yeah, you want to get a comp day, you get a comp day. You fucking bank that thing. You're so full of shit. You didn't Go have back and play the tape. I mean, I didn't have your back to management, but on right. the air, I don't give a shit about your comp day <laughs> then. Us whining, bitching, crying about it. Well, I mean, it we does. We just wanted to work. It does sound. That's, now, that's the bullshit angle. No, I mean, honestly, it wasn't like... No, 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 that was the order way. Like Memorial Day. We get Memorial Day off. Right. Why? Like, why can't I just come into work if I don't want to work Memorial Day? Because no one's listening that day. That's an argument I actually understand. You see, you always want explanations from management. Yes. So do I. They're giving you a legitimate explanation. Mm -hmm. Nobody is listening on Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Nobody. That's a fair argument to me. Okay, here's the thing. So nobody is, and that was the argument, that nobody's listening on their station as well. Yeah, we're trying the, to get new nah, listeners. But there's no new listeners that day. We're no trying. one's listening that day. Maybe it's just a few. <laughs> we're so just trying to, to for, get... For that one listener It might there? be. You That's know how the bullshit. meters work. You, you never want, know. No, what you want to do is bank that thing for a longer vacation when you leave. I know. I do the same thing. But the vacation isn't like during a series. It's going to be like Christmas. You watch. This year, we're going to be in during Christmas week. Right. Ordway, Maloney, and Four are going to be in Christmas week. So am I, by the way, this year. I've, one but thing I've know, learned it, is I'd rather work Christmas week anyway because yeah. I'm home at 1030. Mondays, Mondays are good no matter what because it's still football. It's easy. It's Patriot Monday. Yeah, so it's still easy. So anything else? Like, anything else you want to bitch about? No, I'm good. I think That's I've, it? I, I don't think I got myself really – you didn't really bring anything out of me. No, you're you, honest. You, I'm a little disappointed. You kind of did a shitty job. I know. Well, no, I think you did a shitty job. I always kept saying like Minahan won't take no for an answer. He'll keep coming. But you. Well, what did you? What did you? What did you, what did you feel like that you didn't? What did no, you feel I'm good. Like, what did you feel like you pushed out on? No, we I could th- certainly revisit it. No, I think I'm good. You know. What do you mean? A few things off my chest. Like think, what? No, I said I felt like I, there's oh. a few things that I got off my chest, and I'm good. But I, but I don't feel like you complained enough from all the shit I hear you talk about our show. You came on here today, and you were kind of a pussy about it. But oh, your show? A little bit. A little bit of pussy. I don't have a problem with your show. A little bit. Well, no, you, the other day when you brought that little, up, like I'm bit. trying to tell you how to oh, do a radio. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. How am I trying to tell you how to do radio? You made the transgender joke I and did. the politic joke. That's more of like Let a, me hey, ask you. That's you more, guys, no, you guys talk politics. Not that much. But that's what you do. But not that's that much. That's what you're good at. We're not good at talking sports? Again, there's a lot of things that come up that I, you know, I drive and I'm like, you know what, they're really good at this topic, but we can't have that discussion. I've met it many times. And they said, why not? I said, because we don't know enough about freaking politics. But Ordway wants to do that. But Ordway is different. But Christian and I, it's, he's going to, you ever hear Ordway bring up politics? Christian and I just sit there and look at him and we go, all right, good. But it's not our strong point, but, but also, it is for you guys. Orwell also doesn't give a lot of opinion about it. He'll just throw it out there. Right. You never know this. So he kind of wants you guys to act like me and Jerry or John. Sure. Would. But there's there's topics that you guys are, like the other day, you guys talking about tuition. Right. Do you, think, do you fu- really think that we could talk, Dude. our show could talk two or three hours, whether there should be tuition or, like our show today couldn't talk about craft because it was just the people you had in your booth. Yeah, but you, you guys could, do but what you do good. We try to do what we do good. And Glenn could have taken that craft angle and you could have taken my angle on that. And been fine. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not, it wasn't a big deal, but you could easily do but that. But we don't have Tangway crazy. You know, we don't have Tangway crazy kind of take it to another level. I, that's one thing. That is one thing I am absolutely right. And we don't right. have but Jerry Callahan freaking crazy when it comes to politics. One thing or I am right about is Liz you, Warren. you do not treat Fourier the same way you treat Orbay. You guys never disagree. Ever. We disagree. Total bullshit. No. I fucking can't believe I just forgot. 55 minutes and I just remembered this thing. We, you guys never disagree. That's just bullshit. That's not. That's, we don't fight. You and I disagree a lot more than you and Fourier do. Yeah, but we don't fight. We disagree. Why did you fight? Because I don't know, it's just a personality. You know, like fight. His you, doesn't, me and Fourier have fought. His Why can't personality you guys fight? doesn't really fight. He only fights. He every time he's ever gone to a cross with fight with you, he's never gone in there thinking he was going to fight with you. That's bullshit. That day we had the big fight. He was ready to go. I'm telling you, he, to, on two different occasions, he was like, "I'm going to go in and twice, just fuck with think. him." And then next thing you know, he comes back. I said, "Dude, what happened? I thought you were going to just mess around." He's like, "I know," but he just gets me all pissed off. Like you, why can't get you get him pissed going. off? I don't know. Because I'm not What's your, you. Why, why are you? Why are you not me? You have to work on that. We disagree. You do not. But Dude, we in just the, don't in fight. the segment, I listened to it. In the segment, I'm playing you guys like little puppets. I was yeah. listening to it, laughing in the car. <laughs> Foray is saying that he doesn't. Uh, he's saying I agree with Lou in a segment where you talk. Where you're saying you guys disagree all the time. You don't. This is athlete. I code. said that we should trade Jimmy Garoppolo. No, but that's what. He fucking, said they that, shouldn't. 
But that's not a, that's not a disagreement. Well, what, what, what that's a Sporty about? McKenzie thing. Like, that's, not, that's not that's not a real disagreement. You guys never yell at each other. You yell at Ordway. I you do. Treat, it's my here's the rule I have when yeah. I did Comcast, and I like her a lot. But if Trenny said something that Tangway would say, right? You wouldn't go off on Trenny. True or false? Would you be the same way? Probably. You just can't. But you should. I, I agree, and she would want you to. She would want you to. Some she actually be pissed at us talking about this right now. But like don't this. you think that's accurate? She probably say something like, "What? That's bullshit." Yell she, at she'd me. be right, and she'd be. Yeah. But don't you feel that's true? Probably yes. I think you do the same thing for you. If I if I said something to you, you would treat me differently in the forty. So the same thing. That might be true, but I, I don't. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't like. We've disagreed, but part of it is just like then I look over to him and he just like starts laughing. You know what I mean? It's like a goof. That would drive me nuts. I need to fight. And then we just laugh. Like I laugh all the time. You just but, but we we disagree. We don't. I agree. Me and Ordway fight you do agree. because I think that uh, yeah we disagree. But you have a history with Ordway too. Yeah, we have a history, and I think sometimes he just says things. Is Fourier completely unaware of like what Ordway's accomplished in radio? No, because because no. Ordway tells him every day. Oh, that's true. No, yeah, but, <laughs> no I'm just but, kidding. He does, but no, oh, he does. Uh, he knows. Yeah, he knows. That's yeah. why he always brings it up whenever it comes up. So you talk about Orway talking a lot. I listen, Fourier talks a lot. You think? Yes, I think he talks a little too much. So if he talks a lot and Orway talks a lot, what do I do? I don't hear, sometimes I don't hear you for a while. I, I don't know what you're doing. What are you I doing? Know. You play well, Shaughnessy? I, I don't, I don't, the uh, the other thing about I, you is I try to get in. Everybody likes you. That's and if I don't get thing. in, I don't get in. That's the reason I, that's the reason I get frustrated with you sometimes. You're pissed Because everybody likes you. I'm a nice fucking and guy. And I know you're kind of an asshole. Well, I'm a nice guy. But sort of an asshole. Well, that's part of being a yeah guy around here. Being a nice guy? Yeah. Some no, of them around that. here, I think all, everybody everybody totally. around here has an asshole Completely, in but everyone's like, oh, lose a great guy. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, but he's kind of an asshole, too, though. Can be. Mm-hmm. Is an asshole and a nice guy. But I think I'm a really good guy. But if a you know huge me. asshole. Maybe. <laughs> Times. All right, goodbye. I can be. <laughs> good, go away. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Enough About Me with Kirk Minahan. If you want more great podcasts, it's pretty easy. You go you can go to the WEI mobile app. You can go to Stitcher. You can go to iTunes. You can look up Enough About Me with Kirk Minahan. You can find the ones with Sean McDonough, Bob Ryan, Dan Shaughnessy, David Portnoy. There'll be more. And what you can do when you like them, you write a review. That'll help us out a lot. You give us a rating. We can help you. You can help us. Get that done. Do it right now. There's a lot of pie-in-the-sky talk about how great the cloud is for storing and protecting your small company's data. Mike Osgood, Director of Business Development at Ronnie DeMeo Construction, begs to differ. They weren't able to house special software for construction estimating. And then there's the 12 weeks of bookkeeping data the cloud provider lost. Mike's firm decided enough was enough. They brought in Tab Computer Systems, but then... The old IT service provider was holding out our passwords that were critical to the transition. The cloud provider decided to hold the rest of the data hostage. Fortunately, Mike's company finally got its head out of the cloud. Tab set us up with a local server once we determined that the cloud was not suitable, obviously for reasons that like losing mass amounts of data. Store, control, and protect your data locally cost-effectively with help from Tab Computer Systems. Call 1-888-TAB, the numeral 4-H-E-L-P, 1-888-TAB-4-HELP, or at tabinc.com. Technologies Advancing Business, Tab Computer Systems.